Are your days productive? Genuinely ask yourself right now, do you have productive days? How much of your day are you actually productive? What percentage of your day is actually productive? A lot of us do not have a productive day. A lot of us know this, and if you clicked on this video, you know deep down that you could be doing more throughout your day. I'm genuinely not lying when I say around 10 hours a day, I'm doing something productive that's aligned with my goals. Around 95 to 98, maybe even 100% of my day is genuinely productive. But it never used to be like this. I used to be the kid who didn't do anything, who struggled to even do 10 minutes of revision. I am not joking. I used to struggle to do 10 minutes of revision for my GCSEs. I'd literally get up to five minutes and I'd be like, oh, I need a break. So how did I go from that to this? I'm gonna to reveal to you the secrets of what I've learned from being on self-improvement for nearly two years now. First of all, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Getting straight into the video, you have big goals. You probably have very big goals that you want to achieve. Get in shape, make 10K online, become less socially awkward, become more social. You probably have a lot of very big goals that you wanna do by the end of the year. But what about the goals you can do now? Because if you write down on your to-do list, get in shape, can't really do that in that day can't really do it in that week it's too big of a goal so break it down you can't just put down get in shape on your to-do list however you can write down go on a cycle ride for 30 minutes today that's something you can do today break down your big goals into things and smaller tasks that you can actually do right now go to the gym for 30 minutes cycle for 30 minutes go on a run go on a walk for 30 to an hour and another thing consider your week as a whole so many of us get so wrapped up within the day. Oh, I've got so many things I have to get done today. Oh, I, I need to have a good productive day. I need to get all this done today. And then you forget that you have the rest of the week. Yes, there are some habits that benefit you doing every single day, but some you don't need to. And it actually, you only need to do it a few times throughout the week so you can build up momentum. For example, reading. Reading every single day, 10 minutes, five pages, that's a very, very good thing that you can do, which you can do easily every single day. However, going to the gym for 30 minutes to an hour every single day, you can't really do because you need to have rest days so your muscles can build up and so you can actually rest. So maybe you can go to the gym three or four times this week, whereas you read every single day. I'm gonna go on a cycle ride today, but I'm not gonna go to the gym today. Today's my rest day. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. View your week as a whole. It'll make you way, way less stressed and you'll actually be able to focus on being productive and doing things you want to do throughout your day without crowding your mind. Another thing that I have learned, which has been really, really helpful, is focus on one thing at a time. When we wake up, there are so many things that we want to get done. So many things that we feel like we need to get done and it crowds our mind, we get stressed. And then before you know it, you realize you haven't done any of the things you wanted to do. You haven't crossed off anything on that to-do list. We haven't been productive at all. And that's because we're focusing on so many things at once. We get stressed, we get worried, we get scared, and then we back out. Focus on one thing at a time, one single task at a time. Once completed, then focus on the next. Multitasking isn't a thing. A lot of us claim that we can multitask, but the truth is we can't. We can do lots of things at the same time, but all those things will be inadequate, won't be 100% effort and we probably won't be processing a lot of the information that we're learning at the same time. Focus on one task at a time. And that leads on to one of the production habits that I have learned, which has been really, really helpful, especially with getting things done. And that is the tactic known as eat the frog. Eat the frog is basically, to put it in an example, if you had the choice to eat a frog before dinner or after dinner, which would you choose? Now the smart people would chose, I'm gonna eat the frog before dinner. Just a frog, it's not very nice, it's gross, but if I eat it now, get it done now, then it's done and I get to enjoy my meal afterwards. I've done it, I've just got it over with. Now I can eat this meal in enjoyment and flush out the taste. 
the dumb people would have chosen to eat the frog after dinner. Because think about it, if you're eating throughout dinner, you're eating, you're enjoying your meal, but then you're thinking about, oh, I've got to do that. I've got to eat that frog after this. I don't want to. Oh no, what do I do? The whole meal, you're not enjoying the meal. You're constantly thinking about that frog you need to eat. So you don't even enjoy the meal, and then when you're done, you've got to do the task, and you really don't want to do it because you've been thinking about it throughout the whole meal. Now the frog is that hardest task that you want to do. When you wake up in the morning, what is the hardest task that you need to do of that day? Ask yourself, out of you wanting to be more productive, to have a better fulfilled day, what is the hardest task for you that you really do not want to do? What is the task that is eating the frog? Now, when I first started on self-improvement, it was the gym. When I woke up, the gym was the hardest thing for me because I really, I was someone who hated working out. I did not enjoy it didn't see the point and when I wanted to start getting into it I was like this is going to be super difficult I'm going to delay it until really really late I'm going to procrastinate until really really late and then probably never go so eat the frog do the hardest task first thing straight away in the morning when I got up before midday literally like 10 o'clock I would drive to the gym 15 minute drive I would drive there get a workout done and then I'd drive back home I hated it, I just didn't enjoy it. It was the hardest task that took the most time for me. However, after I finished it first thing in the morning, I was done, finished. I was like, you know what, I've done it. I've eaten the frog. I can now enjoy my dinner. I can now enjoy the rest of my day, knowing that I've done it, that I was productive, that I started my day off good. Now, that's changed. Going to the gym isn't a hard task for me now. It's now nature, it's habit, it's routine. So now my first thing I do in the morning, it's currently 7 o'clock, I'm filming YouTube. Now this isn't a hard task for me. This is something I really enjoy, but it takes the most time out of my day. So I get it first, straight away, done first thing, so I can do other things in my day. And it's the same thing for you. What is your hardest task? And do it first thing. Another productivity method, which is kind of more designated throughout the whole day, instead of just the morning, is known as time blocking. Time blocking is where you basically set a certain time block throughout your day where you're going to do certain things. So most people split it in three blocks. So the morning, the lunch, the afternoon, and then the the evening. So the tasks, the things that you want to get done in the morning, the things you want to get done at lunch, and the things you want to get done at evening. If you actually set a sort of time block, a time zone for this, you're more likely to do it. Because you're clearing your mind out of that crowded thoughts of the things you need to get done. You're setting out a routine and it makes it much easier to do when you've actually made it a lot more clearer to do. Now, my recommendation in the morning is the best time to build new habits because your brain is way more... I can't remember what the hormone is. I watched an Andrew Huberman podcast about it and he went into super sciencey detail and I didn't understand any of it. But... <laughs> I understand the bro science behind it. The morning is the best to make new habits because your brain is very active and it it gets used to things. That's why the task, eat the frog, is really, really good to do the hardest task first thing because it builds a habit very quickly. So make the morning bracket your habit building bracket. Read books, meditate, gratitude journaling, go outside on a walk. The morning is the best time to build a new habit. Now lunchtime is best for deep work. Things you want to do that's aligned with your purpose. Maybe you want to start that business, that online business. Make lunchtime the time where you spend time to learn about it. Where you read those books about business, how to make a business. Where you watch online all the different business models. Make this lunch around the afternoon your deep work time. Tasks that are aligned with your purpose or goals that you want to do. Big goals. And then the evening, save that stuff for healthy yet enjoyable things. For me, I make sure that I go to bed early, that I've done good habits, sort of the conclusion of my day. So for example, in the morning, I'll be doing gratitude journaling, I'll be meditating, I'll be doing the hardest task in the morning, I'll be building up new habits in the morning, my typical routine, and then lunch, I'll be getting into editing, I'll be getting into reading, about how to tell a story better so I can 
help you guys better. And then in the evening, I'll go out skating. So I'm doing something that's productive still. I'm still learning something, but it's not, you know, unactive. I'm not sitting in watching on Netflix or binge watching. I'm still being productive. I'm just doing things that I can enjoy. So for you, it may be a cycle ride, maybe it's a sport. And then I come home, turn off all the overhead lights, and I make sure I get an early night. So the end bracket of my day is the conclusion of my day. And that is my rough routine of my day. You can see how 95% of the time I am productive. I am doing things. And you can do the exact same thing. Literally, tonight, before you go to bed, just make a plan of these things I've told you that you're going to do tomorrow. Eat the frog, your time blocking, what you're going to do throughout your day. Write it all down in a journal. Write it all down as what you're going to do. Planning your night, your day, the night before is by far one of the best things because it actually sets in your head. You're way more likely to stick to it. And that's the only thing that you've got to do now. I've given you the resources. You can click off this video and turn off YouTube and actually start writing. I've given you the resources to make a change, to literally be the most productive you've ever been tomorrow. You just need to commit. You just need to commit and stick to it. And don't forget, if you're trying to make a change, you clicked on this video and that's a huge, huge start, a huge step in the right direction. If you mess up once, one day, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up so much to the point where you quit and you don't even do it again. Understand and accept that you failed you messed up, but you're going to do it again tomorrow. And that still doesn't matter that you messed up. You're going to try and make sure the next gap before you mess up again is even bigger. Just commit and don't quit. Within the next few weeks, I'll be creating a website, a community on the website school where you can join for free and you can ask for personal help, more ideas. If you want to learn more from me and you like me, and you just want to help me and support me, I would be very, very appreciative if you joined on this community. I haven't set it up yet. I will be doing it within the next few weeks where you can ask each other in a full-on community where you can help each other out. But for now, I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner because this video could help you out. And if subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. <laughs> Give yourself a proof of kiss.